Hello everyone, and be quiet you. Welcome back for another episode of Dead Space. Uh, we are on the mining deck and uh, on our way to plant the SOS beacon. This whole area is kind of disgusting, uh, but I want to check see if there's anything else that we can loot before we head back. Are you alive? Oh, that's alive. This is why it's important to check these things. Okay, do we have any stasis? We do. Over the top. Now that but... you've got the beacon, head over there. So we have a new objective that's been added. Let's have a quick check. We need to destroy the gravity tethers, that was it. Alright, well, we're on our way to plant the beacon at least, so let's let's go do that. Uh, where do we actually need to go for this? It looks like just up one floor. Come on, give, give me the access control. Let's step away, step back. There we go. Right, mining deck. We saw the the big thing last episode trying to get through here, but it doesn't seem to be here right now. It doesn't really fill me with confidence. a bit. Right, let's reload. I would like one of them to come to a point where we can see it so we can maybe get out and stamp on it. One of them. What about the other one? I would like something with some decent weight to be able to throw at this wherever it is. There it is. Ah. 
on the ground. We didn't really lose any health with that because we'd already injured them quite a lot, so despite the... Despite the difficulty of it, I'm happy enough with how that went. Uh, no, not this, not the save point. I want to grab the, the make it. Oh, we can't. Okay. Uh, so what have we got? Ooh. Yeah. So really, we need a shot. We need a shop so we can take advantage of that thing on the ground. So let's let's have a look at our map and see where we could go to get to a shop. We actually got one in here. Well, we've got a bench in here, and there is a store just supposedly up ahead. Ah, perfect. Well, let's free up some space. And by freeing up some space, I mean sell a whole bunch of things. They'll sell the large med pack. Uh, in fact, no, we'll keep one large med pack. Uh, as we like get later into the game, I want to have a way of fully healing us up. We'll get rid of the stasis packs. Uh, we'll get rid of all the medium med packs. Get rid of the flame fuel, get rid of the pulse rounds, get rid of the force energy. Okay, level 4 suit. Even more inventory space. That's what we're getting from this. And a bit more armor. Yeah, it looks pretty, hu pretty funky. Now, do we have it? We've got enough for one more pulse node. Uh, or power node, I should say. Three power nodes is probably going to be enough for like everything else we're going to want. So I might just kind of leave it at that. Processing log. Supervisor, second engineer, Dallas reporting. This will be my last report. I have seen what they do to the bodies, what they become. And I can't let that happen to me. At least if I don't have any limbs, I won't be able to kill anyone when I'm infected. Please tell Dawn and the kids that I love them. Oh, God. One more. Now that that's some dedication to keeping people safe. That is that is some nasty stuff. Uh, we hadn't actually finished exploring in here. I think yeah, if we if we carry on the direction we were going. I'll have a look to see if there's anything else we can grab. Because I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go back to the store to sell the... Flamer bits. And just make sure we've grabbed everything in here. Yeah, we did. That's all good. So we've got a lot more inventory space now. 15% armor. That's going to help keep us alive. have a very quick recap of our weapons. Yeah, everything is fully loaded. I'm getting a decent amount of plasma energy, which is great. Okay, let's do the bench. So, stasis module. We can get maximum duration. That'll be brilliant. 
do that now before I change my mind. Plasma cutter, that's as maxed out as we're going to care about. Line gun, we could start moving towards more capacity, more damage. So, yeah, actually more. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could put eight more power nodes in total, so it's definitely worth us still trying to preserve as much as we can. Uh, and the rig, yeah, that's not going to change. Kinesis module, that's not going to change. Stasis module, we could do more energy as well, but that's, uh, it's not urgent. Oh god, not cool. Right, step away. Oh, wrong button. Well, that was some unnecessary damage. I should have just killed him easily rather than trying to preserve my ammo. Alright, let's, uh... Let's do my selling. <coughs> and the flame fuel. Yeah, so we've got lots and lots of line max at the moment. Uh, that's really good. I should probably switch across to using the line gun for a moment. Uh, gives us a chance to build up some more plasma shots, because the plasma shots are useful for precision work. Why do I get the feeling that taking the power thing out of here is going to be something we need to do? Right, that needs the mining access key. All right, let's um, let's change to try and destroy the tethers. Actually, we've we've already got the mining access key, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, he did. It's another node just on the side there. Oh, geez, that gave me a little bit of a fright. It would be nice to get a stasis recharge. The tethers have got to be deactivated before we can do that. There's no point in us being in here right now. The lighting with the uh, the fans and everything is great for setting a terrible, terrible mood. Was there anywhere else we would want to go up this direction? I don't think so. So let's push through to the other side. Ah, uh, this is where we're going to need to bring the power thing. Alright, let's go grab it. Oh, button. 
because the last of our stasis, because I am a fool. Alright. Plasma gun definitely the right choice for this point. Need the precision of the plasma cutter. We don't have any stasis anymore, as I said, so... gonna have to make do hopefully get some more soon not at all creepy massive bulkheads and heat sinks dotted all around semiconductor we're definitely going to there's a stasis thing great definitely going to sell that more line racks lovely okay planet crack went smooth from this end but there do seem to be some problems planet side and we've temporarily lost contact with the colony First rock wall was extracted from the tectonic load approximately one hour after planet crack and has been processed, refined and smelted. The results have exceeded even optimistic initial estimates. Normal recovery is about 35% mineral, 5% fossil, 60% waste. But material from the first wall was 65% mineral and 0% fossil, in line with expectations. That's six and a half tons of ore from a 10 ton bore. Assuming it's not an anomaly, we hit the mother load. Did that door just open? No, it didn't. It's just just all the noises from inside giving me the heebie-jeebies. Speaking of heebie-jeebies, let's get these guys out of there. They are not going to be helping at all. Zero G in here. And I just saw shadows of something. Yeah, there's a few of them. That's right. We got lots of status. Stamping on these guys is not always easy. expenditure. Well that was unfortunate. Let's um let's use the small med pack. I don't want to use the large one, I wanna hold on to it. 
Because I believe the large one is a full, full heal. So what's that actually wants to, to interact with here? I seem to remember we had to like slow this down. But I don't remember this. Oh, there's there's two of them. Might be so we can actually shoot the inside. Ooh, and there's uh... Yeah, I think it might be. Might be so we can blast the inside. Or perhaps it's uh, just slowing them down so that we can get onto it. Let's um let's recharge our stasis. In fact no, we've got we got stasis at the moment. Yeah, definitely have to do both of them. <laughs> or slow down the slow down the moving things. That's probably a smarter move. Alright. I'm gonna have to redo that fight. But that's alright because we could do it a bit better than last time. I'm just grab all the bits quickly. It is an odd, uh, odd decision by the uh, the developers having the specific save points, but then also having key saves just before you move into areas like this. Entering zero gravity. They're out enough. Still two more, or will be two more. Or was it only one more? I thought it was two more. Missed the thing. Yeah, that doesn't actually seem to be uh, slowing it down. Let's uh, try doing these and see if. Uh... I 
mean, that definitely destroyed one of the tethers. Let's, uh, destroy the other one. And also grab some of the loot. Tether's destroyed. Nice. Maybe we can hop on and run outside. I'm gonna wait until this goes past. Entering fashion. Yeah. it's not going to be that easy. Oh, is there more than one? That's not good. Both of them are dead. Still got time. We're gonna need to use that full make kit though. Excellent. And we can just jump straight on through. Actually, we could probably get away with a medium make kit. Yeah, and the small one. Because we'll, we'll get other other bits of healing over time. Right, have we looted everything from in here? Let's try and stay on the floor for more. I think so. So let's uh, let's check our requirements. Oh my word! So we still got still got two gravity tethers to destroy. Are they outside? Oh. Maybe they are. Right, let's... let's head back out, same as we did before, and have a look for them out there. That took a long time for it to do. Okay. Yes, right. And we're out of stasis, so pot luck, I guess. There's one. Did I see another one jumping around? Dead body bits, fire it off into space. Warning. There we go. Payload is no longer tethered. Untrained personnel should leave the area immediately. And we are safe. 
Ooh. I feel like we uh, we achieved our goals there. Let's um, that's the way out. Let's get back to the floor. You get out of this room before I cause even more trouble. Exiting zero gravity. Definitely top up our stasis again. Hard pass, mate. Hard pass. I'll take your plasma energy. This, this whole area does not not seem very happy right now. So obviously we don't want to stand on the flamey doom bit. Does this bit get flamed? That side does. Or there's going to be a specific way through. It's all right. Let's um, let's put this here. We are through. We just need to pull this through. Good job we're not getting any heat damage from it. We can plug it back in. That glooping glop, 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 glop sound is... Quite disturbing. Oh, I've got to see things. Well, that was only a couple of them. Tiny, tiny bits. Just to nibble away at our health. We'd already dragged you out of there, mate. What are you doing back? Release the payload. Payload 8772 launched. Beacon's on its way. All functions normal and broadcasting wideband. Now we just have to hope somebody's listening. I'll position the array receiver. I thought I saw my brother again. He waved to me like nothing was wrong. Okay. I should be able to leave this channel open. What? The comms array receiver isn't responding. Isaac, can you get back to the bridge? Oh, God. Leave that array online or we can't receive signals from anyone responding to the beacon. Oh, this is not good. Haven't needed to use stasis, but we this is why we brought all the line mates with us. Should still have plenty of Oh god, we're down to three. Alright, time to change gun. 
and try to try and be a bit conservative again. I am going to pop to the bench and the store. Before we head out of this area. Okay, I was talking about upgrading... Yeah, it's a shame I reloaded, actually. Let's wait until we've uh, run out of uh, line racks. We'll keep on the line, uh, line gun for a moment. We'll keep the power node. And then we'll do an upgrade and get that capacity boost from it. And in the meantime, we can sell the gold semiconductor and the stasis pack, which is enough to get us another power load. I said we'd need about six of them, so... We've got plenty we can be doing with it. Just a little bit toasty. Okay, I think we're we're clear to go. Uh, I don't remember which deck we're supposed to be on. Let's double check our map. all the way up to the top. That's fine. Someone's gone and replaced all of the... well... do. Back down to the bench, do the upgrade. There is a lot of toing and froing, but that's how, how you try and be efficient with these things. gonna have to run the flamey gauntlet again but it's only one point there we go line gun capacity upgrade width upgrade love it So two more gets us there, two more gets us there, one more gets us there, and potentially we could like even push for the other width as well. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, still still need six more. Seven. Seven more in total. But that has just gotten us six free line racks, so that's three thousand credits worth if we were to sell the line wax more to buy them. I think we've uh, cleared everything out so we don't need to worry about anything more. If 
finally we can get off this damn deck. Oh, you see those things? Bit of a shame. Obviously, spending ammo never, never good. But we didn't take any damage. Didn't die from them. So possibly the the best outcome. Can't open any of those, and we've already looted this area thoroughly. So let's just get back to the tram. There we go, Into the Void completed, and that's going to be a good point to finish this episode off. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Dead Space. See you soon.